from her homestead skills and hopefully all of you have had a wonderful holiday week. Um, I myself will count that as, as a successful one simply because I got to spend some time and with my family and uh, had some meals together. And we have not been able to really enjoy family gatherings quite as much as we should have over the last two years. So hopefully going forward, that is one thing that will change in the year to come. Hopefully father, family gatherings will become more frequent as people push back on distancing from each other. Let's put it that way. So, um, as far as the new year is concerned, well, this would be a new start for a YouTube year for me as well. Uh, I did start my YouTube channel just in a December, and, uh, but I don't count December because it was quite late. So I would say January. So with every new year is a new year that I am uh, contributing to my YouTube channel and hopefully you have found it interesting. There were times that I thought I was boring, <laughs> but some of you seem to enjoy it. I try to come up with new ideas and uh, new things to do, and hopefully I'll be successful at that in the future as well. Um, did a lot of food preservation videos, and I hope to continue to do that uh, in the coming year. Gardening videos. Gardening is one of my passions, and um, Hopefully I can establish a little nicer garden this year. It does take a number of years to properly establish a garden, and sometimes it can even be as much as 10 years. I remember my other, my garden in my home, it took me years it, you know, before it was the way I wanted, and it was uh, a work, it, it was a job every year. So I'm not saying that it wasn't work. Gardens are work, but they are very fulfilling. So um, hopefully this next year I'll plant a little um, more useful plants, a little closer together, and not so many tomatoes. I Last year I tried to grow all my own tomatoes, and uh, in the end I still bought some. So. I don't think I want to go through that process again this year. I want to give myself some variety and do some other things. I did. I received my herb catalog from Richter's that comes every year. And although it is awesome to look at these, it is kind of depressing because, well, I can order the seeds and they can come in, but I can't really plant anything until February. Yeah, February. And, uh, we really can't put anything into the ground until May, so even February can be kind of early. So um, yeah, the May 2-4 weekend is the big planting weekend around here, just because that is uh, when the weather allows. So, But we can dream of green and uh, see what we can plan for next year. Now as far as plans are concerned. I do have some plans. Mark and I have plans. Whether any of them will come to fruition is another story. So if and when they do, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> and it, hopefully exciting things. But it is going to be a tough year. If um, our farmers' warnings come to fruition, and they have warned us that uh, we would really not see the, the bulk of the shortages of food and the price increases until this year. And if, as I say, if their warnings come true, then this year is going to be a lot tougher than next as far as food is concerned. So our gardens are going to become even more critical. So I hope you're, if you have a garden or if you have space to plant a few things that you think about doing so. Um, I know some of you are planting indoors. To me that has never worked. Um, and in this environment <clears throat> it's even so much more worse than what my other home was because there I had a lot, of, a lot of areas where I could get sunlight coming in. Here I don't. 
here I'm on the wrong side and I don't have sun and everything I try to grow indoors does not succeed. Very few things succeed. As a matter of fact, when I first moved here I had the most beautiful bay laurel, which is the bay leaves that you use for cooking. I had a tree that I had grown for years in a pot because I'd put it out in the summer, bring it in in the winter, and I had a beautiful sunny spot that it could sit at in the winter, and it grew to about five feet, and it was at its most beautiful by the time I brought it here, and it didn't last. It did not survive here. And I've tried to grow a bay tree here a number of times. I bought more plants and they just will not succeed. Uh, there just isn't an adequate light and there isn't adequate space to mount extra lighting. Mark and I are sharing a small environment for us. And uh, so, um, and I really like to have my plants outdoors. Probably, I'm as much at fault as anybody, but I also, <laughs> anyway, so I am not very good at planting indoors, so I don't do too much of it. Here's hoping that those warnings are not as dire as what has been predicted, but we'll only know as we move into the new year. I also understand that interest rates are not decreasing, that they are probably going to raise them again. Mark was reading to me something about uh, in the U.S. I may plan to raise them again by at least a quarter point in February and perhaps even as much as a half point. So that is certainly going to cause more hardship for those that have to renew mortgages or those that are looking to buy a home and even those looking to sell property that uh, they don't want to hang on to. So anyway, it's, it's been predicted that it's going to be a tough year. And it does look as though it's going to be a tough year. So I hope you're all bracing yourselves and have planned ahead while we had the chance the last couple of years to stock up on as much food that we could at uh, reasonable prices while we could. So I have to admit that I have um, no idea in some cases of what I have stocked up. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one spot that I could keep everything in where I used to have that so I could visually say, okay, I have so much of this and so much of that. Well, I don't have that here, so I have things in one closet and I have things in another closet and I have things under a table and I have things in whatever cubbyhole I could find them. So I'm going to have to do um, an inventory and determine what I do have in house and determine what else I want to keep in house. I mean obviously I have a freezer and I know what's in the freezer and uh, <laughs> yeah that's a little different story again but uh, How much I know I have a ton of salt I have more salt than I've ever had in my life but yeah this is the one thing that I have to do I know a lot of you have already done an inventory and they, you know exactly what you have and you rotate properly well this girl has gone from oh probably about five years ago just canning mostly things like always the tomato sauce always and pickles and uh, peppers and there's only maybe five to ten items that I can on potatoes you know there wasn't a huge variety and I made the odd jams but now I make I don't know ten different jams maybe more than that I haven't made marmalade in a while, it's probably time I do that again, but uh, yeah, rhubarb strawberry jam when my rhubarb is fresh in the garden and I can get fresh strawberries, oh that is luscious. Fresh strawberry jam when you go pick the strawberries out of the garden yourself, oh that is awesome. So completely different taste from what you can buy.
Now, I'm not suggesting you shouldn't buy what you can. Buy what you can. If you can't make your own, buy it and stash it. There's no harm in that. I mean, peanut butter is one of those things I could probably make myself, but I wouldn't. I, I prefer just to buy that, and I have specific brands that I like. And unfortunately, there was one of them that I used to buy all the time, which was my favorite, and I can't remember what it was now, but they stopped selling them in Canada. I think the product is still available in the U.S., but they stopped selling in Canada. Lord knows why. It was the tastiest peanut butter I've ever had. So now Jif would be my next choice, and then Kraft would be the one after that, but still, Jif isn't bad. So, But yes, you do focus on foods that you like, and I could, I could live off peanut butter sandwiches. No issue. I enjoy them. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to do an inventory. And I'm going to start thinking about what I'm going to plant for next year. I'm going to start thinking about it. Um, I have lots of seeds that I saved from last year, so it's not as though I have to go and buy a lot of seeds. But if I want to grow them myself from seed rather than buying the plants ready-made, I, I do have to think about it ahead of time and determine how I can achieve that. Um, and if it's not successful, the fallback is always to buy the little plants that are produced, mass produced for me. I, I certainly will not buy tomatoes that way. I have my own tomato seeds that I grow every year. And uh, yeah, but there are certain plants that I will buy them ready-made just because I haven't been successful at growing them from seed myself. And that happens. And it would be nice for me to be able to establish a little area in my garden that's specifically a herb garden. And I used to have a round herb garden, which I loved. Um, and I don't think I can reproduce that in the space that I have, but maybe I can ac accomplish something similar, just put a little area aside specifically for herbs alone. Uh, so far they've just been dispersed all over the place, and that's fine as well, nothing wrong with that. So, planning for my herbs, planning for my vegetables, planning for my how much inventory I have in stock, what do I need to stock up on, what spaces I could find to, what other nooks and crannies I could find to stash things in, and do I need to. You know, it's always, uh, if I had the space, certainly I would do even more. But when space is limited, you do have to find nooks and crannies, and, and I highly recommend everyone does that this year. If the farmer's warnings come true, and I have no hesitation in believing that they will, it is going to be a tough year, and we have to get through it, and hopefully get on the other side of it, and it'll be a better year after that. Anyway, hope for the best, and plan, and work your plan. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and I will be talking to you real soon. Have a great day.